What's up y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to another video. Let's get right into this, more work on the Evo. This is the last day of like prep work, scuffing, all that kind of stuff before we lay down some primer in the engine bay, so here we go. All right, in the last video, we pulled the motor, which is still just friggin' mind-blowing that I did that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, engine bay is all cleaned out now. Uh, the fender wells are basically done. We're doing primer and undercoating in here. We're doing primer and paint in here. I gotta finish scuffing up everything in here so the primer can stick to it. Gotta get the brake booster off of there as well. Probably do that today. Um, yeah, there's just lots of work to do right now. So less talky, more worky, let's go. Okay, so I've been out here for about an hour. Um, been trying to get the dash out because I need to get that out to get the brake booster off. Um, and I have, I'm just, I'm out of solutions on how to get this dash out. Um, let me show you. I've removed all that hardware right there, um, all the visible hardware. Um, it moves a little bit, but in the center, it's still pretty well held in there. And I'm looking around like, what in the hell is keeping this thing in? And I look and there's a screw where it's like right there, that little shiny part. Um, you probably see it a little bit there, a little dot. Um, that is apparently a screw that's in there backwards from the backside. And that is, that is a super solid part of where it's like stuck at. How do I get that out of there? There's no, there's no way. There's no tool to get in there. There's no screwdriver. There's nothing. I've, uh, I busted up my knuckles already, shoving it in there to get to the brackets on the back side of this thing to get it loose. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some more research real quick, see if I can figure out how to get this thing off of here, but so far, the dash is kicking my ass. <laughs> God. Okay, holy shit, that took about, oh, two hours, I guess? Um, right at two hours to get that out of there. Um, everyone I talked to, everything I saw online, um, it was super simple after you've done it once or twice. Uh, but I looked at all that and saw all the bolts and everything like that. But mine, um, this little piece right here, this little nut right there, um, there was a bracket that came from the venting and it was bolted to that right there. And that was a pain in the ass to get out because it's back here. But once I got that out, it came right out. Like the whole dash was moving except for in the center right there. And that was the only thing I could see that was holding it together. And so um, got that little tiny nut out or bolt out right there and out it came. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, dash is out. <laughs> So the reason for getting the dash out is hopefully it makes it a little bit easier to get to the brake booster here that I have to remove um, that goes into the engine bay. And then also I wanted to finish tracing out those ACD wires that I've been doing um, a few videos ago. I cut them off at the firewall, but I wanted to pull those through. And so the ECU and stuff over there, so hopefully I can get those wires traced out and get those cut off inside the engine bay. Um, or inside the car, I'm sorry, and then I can finish um, taping up the engine bay and finishing that wiring and all that stuff up in there. So, um, yeah, hopefully that will allow me to do all that stuff and I'll be able to get that stuff done. Um, if not, I guess we learned how to get the dash out. I brought the uh, dash inside now, but um, this was the bracket I was talking about. That was giving me all the problems right there um, because all the rest of the dash is pretty straightforward. All the bolts are pretty visible. You have to remove the ECU bracket right here um, to get to the two airbag bolts that are up inside the dash there, but those are the two hardest ones to get to um, that I figured out, found out, and got some information on, but yeah. All right, you guys, we got all the wires for the ACD pulled through. Um, let me put this right here. And yeah, all the wires in the engine bay from the ACD are now pulled through. Um, we even got the little ground that we ran through there as well. Um, so all that stuff is out of the engine bay. So now I can move on with what I'm doing in the engine bay. I can retape all those wires, get that nice and finished up and sealed up, and uh, we can move on. Also, I'm not 100% sure that I needed the dash out for that task right there, but whatever. <laughs> If you get that reference, bravo. Um, but we got the wiring harness entirely out of the car. Um, I had not planned on that, but 
one thing led to the next and here we are. <laughs> so yeah, now we can get the entire wiring harness out of the way in the engine bay. Um, no more bag, no more concern about it getting wet. Um, it's less hassle, it's less clutter. Um, I can spray here this entire thing, tape it off from the inside. Um, no worries there. Um, yes, I am concerned that I have the entire harness out of the car. Yes, I am super anxious about that, but look at this thing. I'm anxious as it is, so the motor's over there. <laughs> um, yeah, what's one more thing? Okay, so four hours later, that is out of there. That got a little bit out of hand. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to the task that I actually wanted to get done today, which was spray out the engine bay and those front frame rails. There's a lot of gunk in there, and I want to get some degreaser in there and spray all that stuff out. It's hot today, so it should dry up fairly fast, um, because next up on the list to do is internal frame coating. So, um, yeah, let's carry on, get that stuff sprayed out. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on with my mind today, but we just removed the brake booster. Um, I didn't even film it. I don't know. I just <laughs> didn't hit record, but um, it's just four bolts there, um, and you have to release the brake clevis. Um, so there's four. There's four bolts right there at the top of the brake uh, lever, and you release this little stud and the carter pan, and it just comes right out. Um, so we got that out of the way, which is a big deal because um, that was really the largest thing. God, there's so much stuff in here. Um, that was really the largest thing left in the engine bay there. Um, I still have the uh, clutch thing back in there, which I'm thinking about taking that out as well. Um, it's pretty far out of the way, but um, still yet. I mean, look how far we're going. So, um, yeah, pondering that, still just kind of scuffing stuff up. We started over there on that side. Trying to get that scuffed up. Um, just there's going to be hours and hours and hours of scuffing uh, to make sure this thing is ready for primer. So um, yeah, that's why I get kind of lost. I was uh, scuffing and didn't want to show you guys all that because you've seen so much sanding. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm taking the booster off and then just spaced it on filming it. But um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. I am pretty over scuffing for the day. Um, I'm gonna go back here and work on that wiring harness a little bit. Um, there were some things I wanted to do to that thing, so um, let's get out of the engine bay and not scuffing for a minute and go do that. <laughs> so basically what I wanna do here is finish uh, tracing out all the ACD wires and all that stuff, um, and then rewrap everything in the Tessa tape that we did up front there and make it look all nice and clean. So let's dig into this thing and start getting these wires out of there. Okay, so this ground, um, it runs into this little hub that I've never quite seen before. Um, there's a bunch of grounds um, going into this. Um, so I'm gonna just cut it away from this thing and I'm gonna put some electrical tape around it and kind of seal it off, maybe put an end on it um, and just seal it off and put it in there because I don't wanna mess with all that stuff there. I'm not sure what all that is. It looks crimped together and I'm not trying to screw with that. So, um, yeah, we'll close this off how we, how I think we should, and um, yeah, go from there. On that note, I'm gonna end it off here. We got a ton of work done today. The dash took much longer than I thought it was going to, and I had no intention of taking out all that wiring harness, but here we are. <laughs> we still got a lot of progress done, though. I got a ton of scuffing done. Uh, we got the brake booster off. We got the rest of that little uh, firewall mat thing out. We got all those wires out, the dashes out. 
um, all that stuff. So um, lots of good progress. We're still moving forward. Um, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it very much. As always, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the process, the progress. If you have any questions, drop those down there as well. Be glad to help much as I can, chat, whatever, and I will see you next time. Bye.